Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this screencast, I'd like to show you how to replace the colors um, of the clothing in one of our cutout people pictures. So I've downloaded one of our characters. You'll notice that the background's removed. And what I want to show you is how to actually change his scrub colors. Let's say, um, you know, our uniform at the hospital or at the, the clinic, you know, maybe we use a different color of, of, of scrubs. And let me just show you a quick way within Adobe Photoshop to do this. All right, first I'm going to just zoom out so we can see the whole picture here. And I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Replace Color. So Image, Adjustments, Replace Color. I am using Adobe CS6, um, so if you're using a different version of Photoshop and you can't find this feature, that might be why. So I'm going to click on Replace Color, and it brings up the Replace Color palette. And I'm going to position this just beside my image. And they have these eyedroppers here. What I'm going to do is use the eyedropper, go over to my image, and then just go ahead and just click the color that I want to replace. You'll notice over here in the, the little preview, it shows you in white um, what's actually what color range might be adjusted. Um, and if I go ahead and just change the, the hue, you can see how it's modifying just that color. Um, so what I want to do is actually select all of the different tones, the different ranges within this kind of aqua color. So I'm going to take this back down to zero here just so I've got a, a pure image to work with. And the way we're going to do that is go ahead and select a color and then hold down the shift key. And you'll notice that there's a little plus sign now on my eyedropper. And I'm just going to go ahead and click and hold, and I'm just going to move it all around so I can get all the different colors of this kind of turquoisey color. Get into the shadows a little. Make sure you don't hit the, the hands or any other kind of potentially color range. I only want to get the actual scrubs here. And you'll see that now my image over on the right is nearly 100% white. There's a few other spots, so I can just kind of come over here to where I think those spots are, I'm holding down Shift, and it's just adding it to the selection that's already made. Now I think that's pretty good. Now I can go and adjust my, my fuzziness setting, and if I take it to the extreme over here, you'll see that it starts to kind of pick up some of the face, some of the skin tones on the arms and the shoes. So I'm going to back this off until it just gets down to 100% pure white or black. And I think that looks pretty darn good. All right, next thing we're going to do is you can just start adjusting the uh, replacement color. So you can modify the, the hue here, change that just left to right. You could also go into the little swatch here and just pick a whole new color. So you can pretty much go with any color that you need to um, to match the, the branding of your clinic or your hospital or um, just your company. So I'll cancel that and I'll just go with the, uh, oh, let's, let's go with something kind of, kind of bluish. Once you get the setting how you like, you just click OK. And you'll notice that it's all, all set up and changed there. Well, that's how you replace the colors, and with our people pictures, that's how you can modify their clothing colors to kind of better meet your branding or just really even just the color palette that you might be using in a, um, a project. So once again, I appreciate your time, and uh, happy learning.